Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a new video on the motorhome. We are going to start today's video with some of the most common comments in the comment section. We're going to start with this front bumper. I was itching to mention it yesterday in the video, but I completely forgot. This front bumper, guys, we know it needs restoring. Me and Chris have done it many, many times. And there is a lot of ways of doing it. Heat gun, hair dryer, black to black, rub it down, oil it up. And I've noticed so many people with suggestions in the comment section. And we kind of, we've got our way of doing it and we do it that way. And I will try and show that in the last video. The reason that bumper looks like that still to this day is because that will ultimately always be the last job I'm going to do on a vehicle with a black bumper and this is the reason why where I'm lying down underneath here and I was doing oil oil filter and you see that it had that oil leak I actually had to grab hold of these yesterday and pull myself under so I'm covering it in greasy handprints there's absolutely no reason to do that until last it would just be a waste of time a couple of the comments have actually really tickled us and made us laugh and the most common one that keeps making us laugh is people keep saying rub smooth peanut butter into your bumper guys i'm a fan of peanut butter but i'm not wasting it on a bumper and i'm certainly no scientist but what i do know is the only thing that brightens up that bumper from the peanut butter is the oil that's in it <laughs> so that you're wasting your peanut butter I've done bumpers with used engine oil, cooking oil, WD-40, black to black. You can use anything, but do not waste your peanut butter. It's only using the oil, and you can get used oil from anywhere. So rest assured, that front bumper, front bumper, front bumper I don't know what I'm talking about, that will be getting done. Me and Chris have just popped to a caravan breakers in Essex, and I'll be honest, we wanted to kind of make a nice bit of film in there and a nice bit of video on it and online the guy had a lot for sale but when we arrived he only actually had three caravans in his yard so there wasn't really a lot to film there i've managed to get the rail for the window and as you can see i got all the missing handles while i was there i also got the replacement window i know it has got white handles on it but maybe we'll swap them for black maybe does it even matter so we are going to get that window fitted and that's going to seal this up 100% watertight today. I also, yesterday, after I'd finished, popped down to the breakers and got a couple of new seat belts for it. So really we're going to concentrate for the minute, get this window fitted, then we'll move on, probably do the seat belts and we'll continue around getting on with some more little jobs on the motor home. That was really, really simple and quick to fit. And as you can see, it is in there. Sorry, there is a bit of wind today. And it seals up really nice on the rubber. So that was a really, really good guess. Like obviously, we measured the gap, but it is such a lovely fit. We have put a couple of silver screws in the latches because we don't have any black ones. But basically, the only last little bit, the issue that we've come across is the window in the door actually touches the window on the side there and we've got a gap there we've just taken the the clip off of here what the door backs into and chris said there's about a 10 mil gap 
So he's just gonna go and cut a piece of black plastic to space it out, put longer screws, and then we'll have no issues with the door window hitting this new window. So very, very quick and simple to fit that was. And when you open it up now, I better shut the door actually, because I don't want to hit that door. But basically, when you open that up, push it out, tighten them up, and there you go. Lovely, it all stays up. I'm quite happy with that. It's a bit filthy, it doesn't need a good clean, but yeah, brilliant. And uh, it was reasonably priced. I paid the same price for this window as I did for the back windows there, like that one and that one, if you haven't already watched those previous videos. So yeah, moving along, let's get this little door latch sorted out and then we'll move on to the next job. But there you go, guys. Chris got a piece of acrylic cut the hole out and actually used the off cut off of it, packed that out, put some larger screws in there. And now when you open the door, perfect gap and fits in there, perfect. So we're back to original. And it was nice just to change that little bit so that it, that window fitted okay. We're completely happy with that now. Let's move on to the next job. Work getting here done guys, but a lot of it I can't actually show. But as you can see now, we do have a passenger seat belt. So that's one down. Chris has just stripped out all the other side there. He's just um, gone to get the seat belt and we're gonna get that fitted in and get all the trims back on. I can't believe how many jobs we get done on it. But every time I do do something, I find a little summing house to do on it as well. But all those windows in it now such a difference and really really nice to know that it's all sealed up i know quite a lot of you uh, did mention this in a previous video as well yeah you can see well i haven't ever touched that and the top of it's quite dirty but you mentioned how yellow they were and to be completely honest i don't think they was ever white i think they're actually supposed to be that color i mean they're not going to fade from that color white to that color yellow so I am quietly confident that that is the original colour. I'm not going to walk too far in because I've got dirty feet. But as you can see, that one's exactly the same. So I believe they probably are meant to be that colour. Even the little air vents like down the bottom there under the cooker. That's the same colour as well. So I'm sure that they're supposed to be like that. And there's absolutely no point in me trying to get them any cleaner than what they are. Another productive day on the motor home. It now has two seat belts, has a window, and there's only really a few little jobs left to do. We need to clean that up tomorrow, get that rubber seat in properly, get that vent all cleaned up in the inside of that door. We gotta get that sticker off the back window. And uh, well, I won't say what we're gonna get up to because that'll spoil it. I'll see you guys in the morning. Guys, it's the next day and we're back on the motor home. I've got some hot soapy water knocked up and I've literally just gone around, sprayed it everywhere underneath this bonnet, all over these greasy handprints all over the bumper. And of course there was quite a lot down the side of the wings, etc. So I'm not gonna video this, but I'm just gonna crack on and try and blow some of this grime off that's just been sitting on here. I think we've established now that the last time the vehicle was MOT'd was 2011. So basically from 2012, this has not actually ever moved. So there's quite a lot of grime laying around and sitting around on it. Quite a lot of people pick up on little bits like this. And although I'm not gonna get into massive detail on refurbishing it, it's not gonna hurt me to whip that off this couple of bolts, give that a little rub down on the, I can actually use the um, wire brush on the bench grinder, give that a little wipe over and give that a quick coat of paint. But it's like all these little bits of grime and all this stuff on these pipes i'd like to try and get some of that off and it really will brighten it up under there so let's crack on and get that now it's wet so it does look nice and shiny and clean but how much better does that look just with that washed off the battery washed off and all of the dust blown off like the top of these headlights there was quite a lot of rubbish sitting on top of them a lot of dust and dirt and it really does look nice so i'm going to give it another quick rinse off but i'm quite happy with how that looks under there now I've done all inside the bonnet as well, so 
just give those oil patches a little scrub with a nice strong bit of soap and uh, we're ready to move on to that front bumper I think so for those of you that do follow us on Instagram salvage rebuilds you would have just seen that little sneak peek where I just headed down to the car wash in it and actually got them to polish it up and do all the glass they make such a nice job and me doing it on my own it would have been a whole day's work so yeah, they probably got six seven people there that all run around it like crazy and it's done within an hour so i did tell them not to bother doing the bumper because i'm going to run the heat gun over it when i get back but the guy said to me the bumper gel that he puts in has actually got the oil puts it back in the bumper and brings it up nice and as you can see it has come up really nice so we'll have a little walk around it now and just show you how nice it does really look it's been a lot of work this motorhome we've put a lot into it and it's it really does show now actually it does look quite nice as you can see i got up the top there and cleaned all that awning up as well because that was covered in like overspray and dust where i got it off my friend that's actually got a paint shop all the tires i inflated those so they've all got the same amount of air in them and of course they've done the tire shine on them which is make does make them look really really nice so moving on to the areas that still need doing obviously we have got that bit of damage there as it's a fairly reasonably easy repair to do with some fiberglass and then again i did mention this bit down here in previous videos it's actually split and it needed a plate so i've just put a plate in there to just literally to prevent it from getting any worse moving on round to the driver's side you can see we found a just a wheel trim laying around it had one missing it doesn't match but really does make it look so much better just having that on there and of course all the mirrors were done with the bumper shine as well so it really is getting there it's nice now it's mechanically sound it drove down to the car wash absolutely didn't skip a beat drove lovely went through the gearbox really nice and then again driving it home that was fine as well so all together i think i've done about seven eight miles in it now so yeah we've uh, seemed to have tackled quite a lot of it when i was laying down underneath it doing the service and uh, finding that oil leak i did notice that it does want some welding but obviously i just had a holiday and chris is off on his holidays very soon and we just haven't got any more time to get on it so we're just going to park it up for a, a little while now and hopefully in the next few weeks we can get back on it and do some more work to it but until then that is going to be the end of the motorhome project for now so chris's idea today he said rob you always sit in the workshop finish the videos off underneath them signs and everyone kind of knows what to expect so brilliant idea today and i do like being in here it is a nice place to be now smells really nice it's nice and clean i know it's nice and clean because i cleaned it so guys yeah let me know what you think as usual in the comment section down below but i'm really happy with how far we've got with it i'm very very happy and lucky to get that window so it is it's a shame that i can't get on with it but you know it's just not enough hours in the day we do work really really hard and with Chris going away, it's kind of, we'd like to do what we done when I went away, i.e. I came in all weekend and me and Chris worked really hard to make those two videos so that when I was away, we had something for you. And again, when Chris goes away, we're gonna work really hard the weekend before and the week before, and we're gonna try and put some videos together for you because we don't want you to go without. I noticed um, when I did just put a little sneak peek out, a couple of people said, is there a video tonight and for those of you that are new subscribers or don't know already we like to put a video out on a Monday a Wednesday and a Friday if we've got some content for a Sunday bonus video we like to put that out i.e. Chris's old commercial truck and some other cars and bits and pieces but we're still waiting for some bits to come back for his trucks but we will be back on that reasonably soon for a Sunday video and of course if we end up with a lot of stuff we'll put out more videos if we don't have enough of course we'll let you know that we haven't got a, we haven't got a video to go out on that night so i want to thank each and every one of you for watching commenting liking sharing and subscribing 
We really do appreciate it. Thank you very much and we'll see you very, very soon in the next one.